Right then, so uh, this is video 7000, I think, of uh, modelling on lesson two, where I've tried to cram a bit too much in baby. Maybe, baby. Right, come on, let's get doing this then. So figure two says, show the entrance of a road tunnel maximum height is measured at five metres. The width of the base of the tunnel is six metres. So figure three shows a quadratic curve to model it. Okay. So if you look, we've referenced the centre of the tunnel as where my origin is. What I might have done, if I'd wanted to, is reference the left hand edge and had that going over to six and then that must have been three comma five and i could have made an equation that fitted it given that way but this one we've set the the y-axis as the center so it says figure two shows the entrance to a road tunnel blah, blah, blah. Uh, so a quadratic curve is used to model it so find the equation Right, so this is 3 that side, that's minus 3 there. So I know if 3 is a root, that x minus 3 is a factor. And if minus 3 is a root, that plus 3 is a factor. My problem is, I don't know if it's going to hit that 5 at the top. Also, at the moment, I've got a U shape, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a minus, that will make it into an N shape, and I'm going to put a K there. Now I know that the top is 0 across and 5 up. So the top of the tunnel is when X is 0 and Y is 5. And I can use this to find K. So 5 is minus k lots of 0 minus 3 is minus 3, 0 plus 3 is 3. So 5 is plus 9k. So 5 over 9 is k. So my equation, let's give me a chance to write that down in case I go too fast, is minus 5 over 9 x minus 3, x plus 3. No. Uh, yeah. no. There we go. Uh, I can expand it. Let's have a look. So minus 5 over 9. This bit here is the difference of two squares. So that's just x squared minus 9. And then if I expand the bracket even more, I've got minus 5 over 9x squared, and then a minus 5 over 9 times by minus 9, so that would be plus 5. There. And that's my big equation. Nice. Whew. So a coach has a height of 4.1 and a width of 2.4. Will it go through? Now, if I assume that it's going through the centre of the tunnel, so this is part B. So if it goes through the centre of the tunnel, what I had was an upside down curve, which was 3 and 3. And what I'm hoping is my truck will go through. Now if it's 2, what is it, 2.4 wide, if I go through the centre of the tunnel, for it to be 2.4 wide, I want to see what it's like, oops, at 1.2 on either side. So I want to find the height when x is 1.2. Because x is 1.2 and x is minus 1.2, that's going to be the same, isn't it? So I've got minus 5 over 9, 1.2 squared plus 5. So that gives me a height of 4.2. Meters. Now my truck is only is 4.1 meters, so my truck is 4.1 meters tall. So 4.2 is bigger than 4.1. Therefore, it will get through. I would not want to drive it through. There. So I can't drive this truck.
Have I too much there with that one? So you've done that, but then you've got to think, all right, this is all about real life, isn't it? So suggest a reason why this model may not be suitable. Well, you don't know, do you? There could be like vents hanging down, lights hanging down. It might not have been done very well. So you just don't really know, do you? So could be, could be vents or lights or fire, you know, like fire prevention stuff hanging down. I mean, to be fair, we've only measured this, the entrance of it. We only know the entrance is big enough. So we only know the entrance is big enough. So, uh, so you don't know if it's going to be the same, the same kind of like uh, height all the way through the tunnel. Like hopefully, oh my God, there's more. <laughs> I thought this was it. Whew. Right, I might do this as another one as well. 